Hello friends, this video on pair of linear equations in two variables part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. Let's take one example where we will represent graphically. After tells his daughter, 7 years ago I was 7 times as old as you were then. Also 3 years from now, I will be 3 times as old as you will be. So let's suppose this guy is Aftab and this is his daughter. So let Aftab current age be x and daughter current age be y. Please note, I am talking about the current age. Current age. Current age be x and y. Current age of Aftab is x and current age of daughter is y. Now let me, let me uh, read the question once again. Seven years ago, Aftab tells, seven years ago, I was seven times as old as you were then. So, if currently Aftab is x years old and uh, his daughter is y year old, then seven years ago, Aftab must be x minus seven, correct? And his daughter must be y minus seven because the current age is x years, seven years ago, they were x minus seven years, logically it's true. So, 7 years ago, Aftab was x minus 7 years and his daughter was y minus 7 years. But what Aftab tells? Aftab tells that I was 7 times as old as you were then. That means Aftab's 7 years old age, 7 years back old age was 7 times of his daughter's age at that point of time. See what we have done? We have assumed that the current age of Aftab and his daughter is x and y. 7 years ago, Aftab must be x minus 7 years because the current age is x. 7 years ago, it was x minus 7 years. For his daughter, current age is y. 7 years ago, the age was y minus 7 years. So, current age, 5, 7 years back, back, the age was x minus 7 and y minus 7 respectively. No issue in this. Now, Aftab tells that 7 years ago, he was 7 times as old as his daughter. So that means x minus 7 is going to be 7 into y minus 7. That is my first equation. Similarly, also he tells that 3 years from now. So 3 years from now, if you see, Aftab age will be x plus 3. And his daughter age will be y plus 3. Because if your my current age is 25, then after 3 years I will be 28. 25 plus 3. If your current age is 16, after 3 years you will be 16 plus 3, 19. So, after 3 years, Aftab's age will be x plus 3 and his daughter's age will be y plus 3. Now he is saying that after 3 years, I will be 3 times as old as you will be. That means you want to equate, you have to multiply by 3. Why? Because after 3 years, this guy Aftab will be 3 times as old as his daughter. Correct? Since he will be 3 times as old as his daughter, so I will say x plus 3 is going to be 3 into y plus 3. Correct. Now we have two equations. Let's write this first. So this becomes x minus 7 is equal to 7 by minus 49. Or this becomes x minus 7 by plus 42 is equal to 0. This is my equation number 1. Similarly, for this equation, this becomes x plus 3 is equal to 3y plus 9 or this becomes x minus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0. So I have got two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. Okay. Now next thing is I have to plot the graph. To plot the graph I have to find the xy coordinates. So now for equation 1 I will find x y coordinates. Equation 1 is x minus 7y plus 42 is equal to 0. So first I will put x equal to 0. If I put x equal to 0, what I get? y is equal to 6. Second is I will put y is equal to 0. If I put y is equal to 0, I will get x equal to minus 42, which is again difficult for me to plot because I don't have that big space. So I will ignore this value. Now I will put x is equal to, if I put 7, this will be divided by 7 because this is 42, this becomes 35. And 35 we can divide by 7. So I'll put x equal to 7. So this becomes 35, 35, uh, 
if I put x equal to minus 7 let's say if I put minus 7 minus 7 plus quality is 35 and 35 by 7 is 5 so this means correct if I, put, I can put one more point I can put 7 also if I put 7 this becomes 7 plus 47 42 it is 49 49 by 7 that is 7 into 7 42 these values are great. If you want, I can uh, do it for you once again. So, if I put x equal to 0, this equation I am talking about, let me write this equation. So, this equation is this one, I put this in the dots, right? This becomes x equal to 0 minus 7y is equal to 42, or I get y is equal to 6. Second time I put x equal to minus 7, this becomes minus 7 plus minus 7y plus 42 is equal to 0. Right, or y is nothing but minus 5, sorry, plus 5. Similarly, if I put x equal to 7, this becomes plus 7 minus 7y plus 42 is equal to 0, or 7y is equal to 49, so y is equal to 49 by 7, that is 7. These three points here. Similarly, for equation number 2, is this one, right? For this also, let me put x equal to 6. If I put x equal to 6, 6 minus is 0. So this gives you 0 actually. So x equal to 6, y is equal to 0. Why? 6 minus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0. Cancel. 3y is equal to 0, and y is equal to 0. Second, what I can do? I can put x equal to 3. If I put x equal to 3, 6 minus 3 is 3, and 3 by 3 cancel. So I'll put x equal to 3. So this becomes 3 minus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0. Or y is equal to if you see y is equal to nothing but this is minus 3, minus 3 by this comes 3, 3 by 3 is 1. This becomes 1. Now let me put x is equal to 0. If I put x equal to 0, this becomes 0 minus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0. Correct? So this becomes cancel y is equal to uh, minus 2 actually because it's minus 3. This goes this side, this becomes this is uh, x is 0, y becomes minus 2. In fact, x is equal to uh, 3, if you put this becomes minus 1 actually. Because this becomes minus 3, 3 is equal to 3, 3, and 3 by minus 3. This becomes minus 1. You can solve this, this becomes minus 1. Correct? What I have done here, I have just found the values of x and y. Now, I will plot this value. So, first is 0, 0,6. Let me put these values. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Similarly, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. And here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here also minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 7. The first point is 0, 6. x is 0, y is 6. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the map. Second point is this thing can ignore because we don't have space in the graph to plot this point. Second point is x is minus 7 and y is 5. So this will be somewhere here. Third is x is 7, y is 7, x is 7 and y is 7. Somewhere in this point. Alright. Now for the for this equation we have to join the points. Let's plot this point. something like this. So this is my first equation that is x minus 7 by plus 4 is equal to. Now let me plot a second equation. x is equal to 0, y is equal to 6, sorry x is equal to 6, y is equal to 0, this point. x is equal to 3, y is equal to minus 1, this point 
x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 2. So we have these three points. Let's plot this. Plot this point. Plot this point. You get something like this. This is another line. If you see, both the lines are not parallel. If you draw somewhere, it will meet. Because this is border, this is less. It will meet somewhere. But the question was, we just wanted to represent it graphically. We are not asked to find solution. But you see, in this case, to find solution is really tough. Because you have to draw this line. And it may take long time. So we have other methods also to solve the questions. Graphically is just one way. Conceptually, it's good to know the graphical method because you understand that each and every point in the graph, each and every point in the line represents a solution for the situation. Correct? So what we have done here, we have first understood that current age of Aftab and assume that current age of Aftab and his daughter is x and y. And then we told that 7 years ago the Aftab was x minus 7 and the daughter was y minus 7. And then Aftab told that 7 years ago he was 7 times his daughter. So we wrote equation x minus 7 is equal to y minus 7 into y minus 7. Similarly, after 3 years Aftab will be x plus 3 and daughter will be y plus 3. And Aftab told it after 3 years he will be 3 times his daughter. So we have this equation x plus 3 is equal to 3 into y plus 3. We got these two equations, we found the points which uh, satisfy this equation, we plotted the graph and that's the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.